Hello everybody, Void here. Wanted to talk about my experience with Battlebond Limited. I really enjoyed it. There were a couple minor complaints about it, but I enjoyed it almost entirely. If I had to say anything bad about it, it was a little bit difficult to decide in the very end who would take home what cards. But to be fair, this is the first time we ever had any sort of two-headed giant limited event. So those problems were going to come up eventually because the idea was that you're sharing the same card pool. You're not just opening up three packs that you're going to make a deck out of you're supposed to take those cards and kind of lend your teammate those they're going to lend you some of their cards and it's just going to be mixed up to the point where you can't really tell who pulled what anymore obviously big cards like doubling season someone's going to claim ownership of that pretty quickly which did kind of lead to the inevitable issue deciding who got what cards but other than that i mean if you're reasonable i'm assuming whoever your teammate was it wasn't that big of a deal it wasn't really a big deal for my teammate we just kind of settled on whatever cards we pulled and then whatever cards in the promo pack we we're just like hey they're partners we don't want to split them up we'll come to an agreement eventually so the only other problem was probably the setup for matches how it wasn't actually a match it was just one game while that does make sense because the games were significantly longer than average games 1v1 limited those can go by pretty quickly 10 to 20 minutes while these did take longer some took as long as an hour but that could be explained just by two-headed giant itself and how they've never done that before so it is kind of hard to set up an event like that to where people feel satisfied and you're not going to be there for four or five rounds that are going to take incredibly long so that is also an understandable issue but like i said earlier aside from those i had a pretty decent experience now to talk about who my teammate was if i had to choose a teammate i think we already knew that we were going to be teamed up our uh, lgs the store owner he's pretty cool he didn't really mind I don't know, some people might have been teamed up according to random pairings, something like that. Hopefully that wasn't the case and you got to choose whoever your teammate was. But like I said, mine, we play a lot of magic with each other and we kind of know how we think as far as limited goes. So it is kind of easy for us to mesh our play styles. And we won our event pretty convincingly, even though we ended up getting a buy, which is a terrible thing for this set because I really wanted to play all three rounds that we were able to. But we really only got to play two thankfully the buy does count as a win so we technically went 3-0 we really didn't struggle at all i don't think we had a moment where we were ever down it was just domination the entire time fun thing was i ended up building a deck for him he kind of built a deck for me i was playing blue black control he was playing green white support which is a very strong deck to play by the way green white support a ton of plus one plus one counters in there the enchantment that allows you to bring back creatures that die with plus one plus one counters to your hand so that you can then replay them is so good late game you're just recycling those creatures getting all that value all over again really tough and we had two of those enchantments and that's really what i was anticipating though having one deck that was really good really competent in combat to keep the pressure on our opponents so that i can just sit back with whatever i have going i had a pretty decent creature lineup in my deck but really where the two decks kind of shined was me playing control worst case scenario i had cards like negate i think we had another counter spell in there but the negate really so underrated it stops answers it stops your opponent's counter spells whatever they're doing in addition to removal because that's what you do when you play a control deck blue black control is really good cards like claustrophobia frost links tapping your opponent's creatures down is ridiculous especially when your teammate just has all of these powerful creatures but also another really good thing was that we pulled two of those partner commanders one was in the promo pack that we got and the other was pure and toothy so i got to play toothy he got to play pure whenever we play one the other teammate searches up the other one so a ton of value there you just get a ton of card advantage by doing that allowing your teammate to tutor up the other legendary creature is just ridiculous and they were definitely the highlight of the event but just so many good strategies in two-headed giant i really hope that they take this approach to another set as far as the gameplay goes i really enjoyed it i thought it was a very well put together set as far as the cards go in a limited environment you saw a lot of good ones claustrophobia seems to be a very good recurring card and i just love those blue enchantments that keep your opponent's creatures from attacking or render them useless and white has a lot of good cards like that in the form of pacify but white is more well known for having some swords to plowshare exile cards that are a little bit more effective 
and dealing with creatures. But yeah, I mean, it's a perfect limited set for me. May not be perfect for someone else. And I know a lot of people just don't like multiplayer as a whole. But my channel is for the most part a commander channel. So if you're here, you're likely here because you like my commander videos. And I would assume that means you also like multiplayer. But hey, who knows? Anyway, just wanted to let you guys know what I thought about the set with my experience there was also a guy that got disqualified i didn't want to talk about it too much because it was unfortunate the guy ended up running 39 cards because he accidentally left a card in one of his deck boxes which is kind of funny because they were playing the uh two planeswalker partners which is very difficult to stop and limited planeswalkers are usually pretty good having one tutor up the other though and having to face as many as two at a time is even more powerful so it is kind of funny how we dodged that bullet and ended up playing a weaker final opponent. So not only did we have a bye, we also lucked out in not having to face someone who got disqualified. So yeah, really good, really hilarious. But you guys have a wonderful day. Void here signing off. See you all next video.